Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In this week's video I thought that it would be fun to take advantage of this to times weekend and do some grinding. So that's what I am going to be doing however as I grind I'm also going to be giving you guys a few tips and tricks for adopt me. I highly encourage all of you guys to put this video in the background and do some grinding as well and we can grind together. Anyways let's begin. Okay guys so I think I know what pet I am going to start aging up. I started aging these sandfish up a long time ago but never got around to finishing, so that's the pet I'm going to age up. I may not end up finishing aging up these pets but I will just have to see how long the video goes for. I will also be grinding in the fossil isle area and digging out the mine while I wait for more tasks to pop up. Let's go! Okay my first tip is to do exactly what I'm doing right now. Take advantage of 2x weekends. If you want to make a bunch of neons or megas, two times weekends are the time to make them. If you want to make more bucks because you are saving up for a house, an egg, any new pets in an upcoming update. A two times weekend is the time to do it because, as the name suggests you make bucks two times faster. So always keep a lookout for when the next one is coming around. My next tip is to subscribe to as many Adopt Me social medias as possible. Adopt Me's socials team is really good at telling us Adopt Me players what the next update will be. And now with Adopt Me coming out with a new update almost every week, it is great to know what's coming so you know how to prepare. It's also so fun to watch their shorts as they hint at so many things so it's really fun to be able to guess what's coming next. My next few tips are to do with what to do when a new update comes around. The first one is to spend your bucks wisely. Instead of seeing all of the pets and buying one that costs 2000 bucks, buy one that everyone seems to be looking for because they tend to be the ones that are easiest to trade and trade for some huge upgrades. Which brings me to my next update related tip which is to trade pets as soon as they are released. This is when the pets are at their highest demand which means that you can get some huge wins as most people can become desperate to get their hands on the pets. My next update tip is pretty well known but, if an update comes with a currency, the day that the update is going, spend all of that money. You are never going to get another chance to spend it or get any of the items so might as well go on a shopping spree. If you have the budget, buy stuff that you have had your eye on but never got around to buying. Also, who doesn't love a shopping spree? And that's the end of my update tips. But if you have any more definitely tell me and everyone in the comments. My next few tips are about how to grow your inventory. First is to start doing a bunch of challenges. Some include, common to legendary, dog to your dream pet and poor to rich. A common to legendary challenge, if you didn't know, is when you start from any common pet and trade that pet for any uncommon pet. Then you trade that uncommon for a rare, and the rare for an ultra rare and then the ultra rare for a legendary. It's a really fun and easy way of getting more and more legendaries in your inventory. And if it gets a bit boring, step it up a notch and verse a friend to try and see who can get a legendary first. A dog to dream pet challenge is basically the same as a common to legendary challenge. However, instead of stopping at a legendary you go all the way to whatever your dream pet is. And then finally, a poor to rich challenge is when you create a whole new account and start from absolutely nothing. I have actually done all of these challenges on my channel so go check them out if you haven't already. My next tip is to always do win trades. I will admit, I am severally guilty of doing heaps of loose trades and sizing myself out of doing win trades. But sometimes you just need to commit and let go of the attachment issues with the pet so you can start new ones with the new upgraded pet you can get. My next tip is to always switch servers if you aren't getting offers in the server you are currently in. You may not know yet but the next server you join might have someone looking for the exact pet you are trading. So just be patient and eventually you will trade your pet away. My next little group of tips are just a bunch of general tips. So like my little do's and don'ts. Please do not beg people for pets as it gets really annoying for everyone when you send them a trade request just to say do you have any free pets? Instead find a random pet in your inventory or go and buy a cracked egg if you have the bucks and trade whatever pet you get. It will be a much quicker way of getting better pets than asking and annoying people into giving you pets. Do login every day, even if it is just to claim your streak prize and lore you can still get something out of it. Don't buy unnecessary items or pets with your robux. Instead, do buy ride or fly potions as you can either trade them by themselves or add them to a pet to give it a bit more value. Something else that is a good robux purchase is either one of the stands. 
The food stands can get you some extra bucks and those trading stands can make trading 10 times easier as you can just place down your stand and go and grind while getting trades. Do make neons and megas however don't make legendary ones. Yes, it can add value to the pet but it takes way too long to make for not much of a bonus. The only time I would recommend making a legendary neon, is if it is a 2 times weekend and you have heaps of time on your hands or heaps of age up potions. This one is self-explanatory but please 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 do not under any circumstances, scam or hack somebody. It just wrecks the other person or people's day and is a really nasty thing to do. Also, this is sort of leaning on that tip. Don't claim that someone scammed you if all they did was place a pet in the trading box and asked for an upgrade. I can't even count how many times that has happened during me filming my dog to all series. It's really annoying and you and I both know that the person was not trying to scam you. Do listen to music while grinding. Grinding can be so boring after a while so listening to some happy upbeat songs can really lift up the mood. I feel like everyone should know this but do at least try to be nice to everyone. One of the reasons I stopped playing a few months ago was because the amount of rude people I came across while playing just started to really aggravate me. So saying thank you after you complete a trade, if you want the other person to add, saying it politely and not just saying add. Guys, I just realized that I only have one tip left so I will say that and then just play some fun non-copyright music while we grind together. So my last tip is to do something that I haven't been doing in this video. And that is using your alt account, if you have one to your advantage. If you are trying to age up a pet or make some more bucks use another account and play as your alt account. Join into the same server and join your main account's family. Become a baby and make your main account give it a pet and just watch the bucks roll in. So yeah, those are all of the tips I have for you guys. Again, if you have any more put them in the comments so everyone can read them and we can all improve and adopt me. But before I get to grinding, a few of you have been wanting to see my journal so here it is. I have my little about me, my legendaries, my dream pets and also my dog to all pets. So yeah, now let's put on some fun music.
Okay guys, I didn't finish fully aging up all of the sandfishes but I don't want the video to be too long so I'm going to stop it here. I hope the tips I gave help you guys improve and adopt me. Thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Bye.